Ukraine called on its Western allies not to fuel tensions inside the country after a string of embassy in Kiev announced they would close, citing the threat of a massive air attack on the capital. The U.S. led to the waves of closure, saying it was doing so as it received specific information for a potential significant air attack without providing any further details. Greece, Hungary, Italy and Spain, all NATO members, followed suit, announcing the closure of their diplomatic premises in the Ukrainian capital. Responding to the information by the U.S. Embassy, Kyiv's foreign ministry says that what U.S. was referring to looked like a psychological operation launched by Moscow in a bid to destabilize the country. It further went on to say that the threat of strikes from Russia was a daily occurrence for Ukrainians since the start of the war. The threats of more attacks comes as Moscow plans to strike back at Ukraine for firing long-range missiles from U.S. on Russian soil. Moreover, the Kremlin has accused the outgoing U.S. President Joe Biden of dragging the war. Russia has already ramped up its attacks of deadly missiles in recent days. They have been targeting residential areas and Ukraine's energy greed as well, and air alerts were heard across the country on a daily basis. Our correspondent Susan Tehran is now joining us live from New York. Hi, Susan. Good to see you. What is the United saying that uh, stoked them to actually issue this advisory to Kiev? So the United States embassy in Kiev on its official website said that they are closing their embassy for the day. It's not just the United States. There were several other countries as well. They say that they have intelligence that there's going to be a massive attack against Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine, on Wednesday, November 20th, being today now. Uh, so uh, that was the primary reason that they gave on their website. I also want to say that, you know, Ukraine keeps playing this down, but uh, ca countries around Europe, notably Norway being one of them, they're handing out these pamphlets about the threats of war and what to do. Uh, if a war occurs uh, in a situation, you know, if there is sort of an alarm, a red alarm, how to hide and whatnot. And, uh, you know, again, Ukraine says that's propaganda, but these are European countries that are doing these things for their own citizens. So, uh, you know, Europe is concerned as well. Mm -hmm. Susan, it's very ironical that this war has been ongoing for three years then the United States or these other countries are issuing advisories and telling their staff to leave the embassy. When the war is still going on, why now? Well, now specifically, uh, they say it's because Russia brought down the threshold for use of nuclear weapons. Uh, but of course, Europeans are concerned, as are Americans, uh, that the United States caused an escalation by giving the go-ahead to Ukraine to use those long-range missiles in Russian territory. And it's expected that today there's going to be more weapons uh, from America's stockpile given to Ukraine as well, the go-ahead at least. All right, we'll have to leave it there. Susan Tehrani, thank you. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.